Hello guys, thanks so much for coming by to watch this video. This is Alan with Hernandez uh, Photo Bowl Products. In today's video guys, I have a unique printer I thought was uh, definitely one of those products that I wanted to share with you guys because uh, you'll see as I show you this product that you might definitely say, you know what, I kind of like it. So if you're in uh, right now in the middle of shopping for a new printer, which one should I go with? There's so many different brands. Well, I tell you, HP is definitely one to consider, especially if you're one of those who like HP. This is one of those that's going to give you the all-in-one functionality. Definitely a great design. It looks great on any uh, place you put it at, whether it's your desk, to the side of the room. Um, Definitely has an overall uh, perfect size for any room, any desk, really. So, as always, guys, I'm going to talk about the design of the product overall, the different uh, features that it offers throughout the design. Also, some of my first impressions that I really liked about it. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the specs that are obvious. I'm not really going too deep into the detail. You can see all that online if you're interested on a product like this um, this is something that's going to work for you if it is i always feature those links on the video description so make sure to look for those and go and get yourself that particular product whichever video you're watching so on this one is the very same thing if you like this printer if it does what you want look at the links in the description and get one for yourself they are right now affordable and this printer is an all-in-one so with that in mind guys let's go ahead and jump in and learn more about the hp office jet 4650 printer the very first thing that i look at guys in a printer for example when i'm purchasing one and especially if it's one that's going to be multi-function it's going to allow me to do several things I need to have a good menu option that allows me to control all of that. In this example, you have a digital touch screen. So that's one of the obvious features you see with this design. You only have the screen. There's nothing else. There is no other button as you would see on other uh, printer products. So that's a unique thing. It's very clean. Um, you only have the power button over here on the left. Your screen does everything is actually a touch screen and then you have your branding here with the hp on the top me when we're talking about design you might feel different about this i would have wanted to have seen the gray hp logo on the top there to kind of match this gray and then help that logo stand out more considering we have black on black that to me doesn't go well but again that's fine um, another unique thing about this design that I noticed, guys, is that it gives you certain compartments for you to really go inside what you're trying to do. So if you're using the scanner, right, this is very big, great glass, great view, and is right above the main uh, view of the printer. Now, you bring it down. You also have another compartment on the side. You'll notice... Uh, there is this little markings on each side of the printer, right? And what, I, what that is, is that when you lift it, now you go inside the printer where you get to the ink, right? Another cool thing about the design that I like about this uh, HP, guys, is the paper tray. You notice that you cannot barely see it. The paper comes out of here, of course. You can see nice opening, right? And then the paper tray is right here by opening it like this. And then there you have it. You notice something too about this one that it has a lot of sensors. So every time you open the paper tray, it detects that. Every time you open this tray, it detects that. So you'll notice the sound going on on the uh, screen there which is a great feature to have. I do like the all in black, some people like that, but then some others might like the different color combination, black with something else. But the all black is really great in my opinion, definitely uh, like that. 
Now, when we look at the design two and then also looking at the connection options, if you look at the back of the design, for example, um, I do like how it's also clean in the back here. You'll see we don't have anything other than your USB connection and then, of course, your fax connection. It does not offer any Ethernet connection for what I can see, but, of course, it does offer the wireless connection option. So it's clean to in the back. Now, going back to the uh, functions of the printer, this is gonna be a multi-function one, as I said in the beginning, so you're gonna have the scan, print, copy, and fax. So the fax options, you're going to use through this feature here, most of the time. You can also do some uh, copying and scanning and whatnot, at least in some printers, you can use in this feeding option. But there it is, nicely concealable with this uh, cover here, and then it opens like that for you to feed the paper. And of course, as you would see on most printers, it does have that adjustable uh, tray there. Now you also have the option to open this too and pull it out if you want to, to kind of clean it up and whatnot. I already did all of that, so I'm not gonna open it. So there's another compartment there too, so that's unique. Uh, when we're talking about the specs of the printer, guys, I mean, this is going to pretty much do what your typical printer is going to do. It's an all-in-one, right? So you have all those four functions in one simple, small, not too big, not too small design. Um, and it also, something that HP is known for is the uh, photo prints. So as long as you have the right paper and you have the right ink, uh, which a lot of times, as long as you go with the one compatible with the printer and you have the right paper, you should be able to print photo-like uh, type prints with this uh, printer. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off there really quick. Um, we talked about the connections are very straightforward. You only have the USB and then you only have the wireless, which that's good enough for most people. And um, you can do this supposedly a feature with mobile printing. So if you want to connect to it from your phone or your tablet, it should be able to allow you to do that. Um, from your mobile device, your tablet, no problem. Uh, as long as I believe you get the right application, you should be able to detect it in that case. And of course, you're gonna need to have it connected most likely to the wireless connection to be able to uh, see it basically in the network. This also uh, does the two-sided printing. Uh, how you probably do that is once you feed your paper and it comes out, then refeed the paper uh, on the other side and it does feature that double-sided printing. A lot of people use that, that I've seen. And it does offer that laser quality text when you're printing, as well as the, you know, just uh, a great color uh, option with the ink, especially the uh, HP inks are really HD, in my opinion. And, and, and this one looks like it's gonna take the uh, 63, is going to be the uh, HP ink that it supports. So obviously you go with the uh, color one and the black one, and then you should be set to go. There is two options inside here for the ink, and that's about it. So uh, there you have it, guys. I think overall, you know, when you look at the functionality of the printer, this is a great product. Uh, when you look at the price uh, level compared to all the ones and what those do compared to what this one do, this one I think is affordable. The all in black is great. And the fact that it connects wirelessly and one of my best uh, first impressions that I really liked is that there is no buttons in the front of this uh, HP. You only have that touch screen. So again, overall, a great product. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up. Click on the link on the description. Get yourself one online, most likely on Amazon. Um, they're actually not so many of this out right now so um, I recommend if you are interested to get yourself one uh, today so thanks so much for watching guys as always this is Alan look forward to our next video